Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Yorkshire Derby Day. Leeds, Elland Road, possibly the toughest place to go in the Championship right now with our playoff hopes hanging in the balance. Absolutely need a result tonight to keep those hopes alive. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to head over to Leeds now, short trip down the M62, love it. I'll put the teams on screen. Come on, City! Since Leeds' goal, I think we've been the better team. They've had one chance just now where... Uh, oh, 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 so over hit that Alfie Jones saved it. We've had, uh, we've, not, we've had more of the ball, but not created anything clear. Cool story of our season. And, oh, Abdush, that was close. Offside anyway. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. But Leeds every time, Bamford's effort just over the bar from close range, so I lost his footing as he went for it. But when they come forward, they do, they do look threatening, very threatening. Like that first goal came out of nothing. So, we have to be wary. Thanks to go to the break on the level. We've been threatening for a while. And now the goal's arrived. Pace and build up. Morton. I didn't even get to say it. It was Fabio Carvalho who turned it in. Come on! Just at the end of the three minutes, had it now. Brilliant defending. Balls pinging about in there after a couple of corners. Also, great save. Coil, great block. Carvalho on about ten others. Great block. As Kamara shot, then it fell to Bamford and tried to square it to Rutter, but it was offside. Ryan also hitting goal. He's magic. You know, not what everyone's been saying on Twitter. That's half time. Good half back, being on top. Now we've got to keep that up for the second. Disappointing goal to concede, leads look dangerous, but on the whole, not a bad half. Underway, come on. Six minutes gone in this second half. Two great chances. One, Villagin putting it off the left. Inches, inches wide of the post, and then a few attack, a few, a few balls that went into nowhere and played by Leeds resulted in one getting put in. Two fan looping header, thought it was going to loop in, just, just too high. Had Melia scrambling for it. Started well. Come on. A few minutes later. Brian Giles has just gone down holding what I think is his groin or his thigh. Can't really tell from here, it's his upper leg regardless. Upper, upper part of his right leg. Matty Jacob frantically trying to get warm now. I hope that isn't the last time we see Ryan Giles in a Hull City shirt. He's been 
brilliant. We have, of course, got that by option. But I so hope this isn't serious. She's been brilliant since she's come in. Although, I trust Matty. Come on. Hope he's all right. On comes Matthew Jacob. Still getting instructions. Unfortunate for Jairo that. He's gutted. He's absolutely gutted. Look at him. Applause for Giles. He's so gutted. We'll just say we're 25 minutes to go. The famous Elland Road Leeds home atmosphere has been, well, it is an absolute myth. First 10 minutes, fair enough. Since then, nothing. Yes, the referee's just waved the penalty so away. I think that was Archie Gray who went down there. Very, very suck if the referee had given it and he's not given it. Have we, have we got away with that? Is it? I think we've just about got that clear. Leeds have been on top last few minutes though. Kamara, Rutter. Back to Kamara on the edge. He's passed towards Somerville, he's wayward. And Slater controls and Tigers have possession once more. Corner now for us, 20 to go. Great ball in by Morton. Roden just rose higher than everyone. Seri brings it down. Wide to Abdush. Back to Slater, he's gonna spread the play wide. Can Jacob beat Kamara to it? No. And Dan James is on the move. Seri quelled that attack really well. No booking either. Just went straight through him because he knew he was never gonna win the pace battle. Brilliant. to go for a stoppage time. Leeds have just hit the post and the skipper's down. He's put an incredible graft in his Louis Coyle. He's been battered about so much, but he's done so much battling. It's no surprise that he's wearing. But he's, at, he's the captain. And that's, that's the work he's done all season. He's down again holding his hip or his back or something like that. And Cyrus Christie's getting warm. It was tried as a centre half against Curacao, but surely it'd be more logical to bring McLaughlin on. But whatever. The skipper is going to have to come off injured then. Cyrus Christie will come on at centre back in his place. Like I say, brilliant work from the skipper tonight. But he's moving gingerly off. And Cyrus Christie will go in at centre back. Nine to go, but there'll be a lot of stoppage time. Three to go plus stoppage time. Slater brings Somerville down in the area and Leeds have a penalty which I can't show you for obvious reasons. Junior Firpo has grabbed the ball straight away, but I can see him giving that off to someone like Perot or Rutter, or maybe even some of them himself. I was just saying how there'll be about seven minutes added, and I think we'd have to just settle and take the point now, because we've had two go off the injuries. And no. Uh, Perot and some of them are both stood over this. 
and Padu and Fairpo have joined them as they have a conversation that leads conveniently cut away from on the big screen. It's Crescencio Somerville. Won the penalty. He's going to take the penalty. Ryan also been blue to beat in front of the Don Revy stand. Straight down the middle. He's booked for taking his serve. But he won't care. And now we might see a bit of that famous Leeds home atmosphere. Seven minutes added. We're giving it everything. We've thrown Alfie Jones up front. Leeds have woken up. I cannot emphasise to all you lot. I don't care which club you support. Leeds have been so quiet all game. From the moment they scored, they gave it a bit two minutes afterwards and that was it. They've been silent. But now, naturally, they've woken up. I think it's done. I think it's done. Shame, because we played so well. A minute to go. Corner. All stops gone up for it. Fair this man back is Regan Slater, about 35 yards from goal. That's a terrible corner, Zaruri. Roden heads clear. Amerta Seren. Ball in. Joseph's header. Jacob rises. No luck. Zaruri's won it. Short block by Roden. Dan James on the move. His shot from range. Is it in? It's in. Just inside halfway. James puts it in. You know what? I don't mind it. It was worth sending Allsop up to chase the game. If we didn't score from it, we weren't going to get anything out of the game anyway. Worth sending all stuff up, that's the price you pay, that's the risk you take. Great strike for him, by the way. Just inside our half, right on the far touchline. Great hit. There it is. Simply didn't make it camp when we were on top. We've had so many games like that this season, though, and that's why it's going to end up being such a missed opportunity with the squad we've got. I'm, ha I'm super happy with that performance. We played so well. Uh, a 3 1 absolutely flat as leads. I haven't got a problem, like I say, with also going up for the corner either and conceding that third. That's the risk you take. We were going to lose the game regardless, so it doesn't matter. But... We've had too many games like that this season where we've walked away thinking we could have got more. And that's that's why it's the season done now. It's a shame, but the season, the season is definitely done now. We've not capitalised when those around us today have dropped points. A point against Leeds would have been a brilliant result, it just wasn't to be. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you in about a week's time for the next vlog against Middlesbrough. But there'll be all the coverage for Cardiff as usual on the weekend.